Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you had a good week. I'm Kathy. Welcome to Yearn with Heart today on May 17th. I'm so happy that you are all here. This week's video will be a little bit different. I'm going to do it. Um, well, I'll be bringing you a long vlog style through my week. And the topics will be, one of them will be about creative slumps, and we all have them. And I'll talk about what I think caused this one and how I ride it out. Also, it'll be about knitting and the mystery knit along. This one's by Rami Hill. And also, the end of the week, I had a return to creativity. And I have a whip that I started for the Tropical Bird uh, uh, make-along by Judy's Creations and Crochet. So next week, hopefully lots of pictures from Knit City in Toronto. It's finally here. And I'm so excited about going and hopefully meeting with a uh, one or two people with some friends while I'm there. Um, I will not be attending any workshops, but there's going to be a lot of vendors. I looked on the website and it says indie yarn dyers, local yarn stores, fiber farmers, knitwear designers, notion makers, and more. So I'm really looking forward to that. It also indicated that there might be tickets still available for Sunday, and there could be some tickets available at the door. So if there's anyone who's still thinking about going, message me if you'd like, and we might be able to arrange a meetup. Um, my uh, email address is in the description box, and you could try and get in touch with me that way. So maybe we can meet up there. Um, also, a viewer was very kind and mentioned about another yarn event that's coming the following Saturday, May 25th. It's in Fergus, Ontario, and it comes very well recommended. Jeff and I can't go to that one because we have another, uh, another plan on that day, but anyone who might be interested I think that one's going to be great, and I plan to be there in 2025. So that will be another amazing event. So next week um, will also be about my su submission for the book of the month, Make Along. I haven't even decided on yarn yet for that one. I have to get cracking on that. So if you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss that next video on May 24th. So on to the vlog. First, a sip of water. Okay, so how my week started. I had first a couple of days when I was in a lot of pain and I was overheating because in our building right now, we have uh, no air conditioning as yet. Right at the moment already, the heat, the temperature in our apartment is almost 80 degrees and it's not yet the hottest that it's gonna be today. So heat really does bother me because uh, hopefully it's not too much information, but a side effect of a medication I take, heat really does bother me. Um, and cramps is not uncommon for me. Sometimes a number of nights in a row that will cause me quite a bit of pain. And if it happens quite frequent, then the pain is throughout the day as well. So anyway, all of that combined and then creatives slump. Mm -hmm. So I thought 
I would do a, a vlog, a video log about things that can help with that sort of thing. And the first one that helped me was just taking time to pause and simply rest because, you know, it's okay to not be creative all the time. Um, and to trust that creativity ebbs and flows and having a quieter time is natural and just enjoy that as part of the process. Um, I also reflected and enjoyed what happened so far, looking at pictures and some of the items that I've completed. Um, that was quite good. And I took time to plan. I browsed my patterns. I looked at yarns that I have available and thought of possibilities without ever anticipating picking up a hook or a needle. Now, the other thing that I did, I changed things up. I did something else for a while and it's different from procrastinating. Uh, it's honestly enjoying some other activity and in a way that freed up the pressure until creativity returns to play so for me, that was um, looking at some storage ideas. And I'll share with you something that I did. This was at Mother's Day. Uh, they had something that I found. This was at the shopping channel on an amazing sale for 10 pieces of a storage system. It was for 25 $25.33. It was regular $69.99. And this kind of storage, it folds flat. So when I'm not using it, it's really apartment friendly, small storage friendly. But look at this, how it can open up. And then there's the bottom that goes into it with a little tag here. So it'll um, be somewhat solid. It's not going to hold a great weight, but definitely for yarn and for a project, it will be terrific. So there we go. That's something that I got and it came in a bunch of sizes. This is one of the sizes. I've got some whips in a smaller size. Um, I'll lift up one that's holding my blanket. There was this one, which is quite big. I had to be a little cautious because it's got a tiny bit of Velcro on the side here. So oh. I'm careful not to, um, not to bump yarn against that Velcro. There was one, only one, that might not be as useful for me because it was quite, quite large. Um, the largest one was 30 by 15 by 15. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna use that size for. But all oh, the rest of them, I think, are gonna be quite good. And yeah, $25.33 for 10 of them, that was quite good. So anyway, that was how I changed things up. I took some time to arrange some of my whips and um, a little bit of my yarn that I wasn't quite sure how to store because I had a couple of those that had lids on them and I could put some yarn in those too. So the other thing that helped with this creative slump was to enjoy the familiar. And of course, one of the familiar things that I had been working on was the mystery knit along. And this one is Way Leads On to Way by Romy Hill. Um, I was 
it's a pattern, a paid pattern on Ravelry, and I was using 3.75 millimeter needles. I'm not much further along than I was last time when I showed this. I learned a few lessons. One was to put in a lifeline because I had to tear back a little further than I hoped to because I didn't have a lifeline at one point. And I did at one point tear the whole thing back because I realized I have a stitch nemesis, which is the bobble. Now I can mention about that particular stitch because on uh, Rosemary's YouTube video, which is open to all the public, she talks about the bobble. So it's no mystery that that's part of this um, shawl. And I'm not, it's no spoiler to mention that there is a bobble stitch in here. Yes. So that has been my nemesis. And I did tear the whole thing back at one point and start fresh. And now my bobbles are looking a lot better. And I have been using the dental floss trick for my lifeline. And last night, I definitely needed the lifeline. So I'm so happy that I put one in there. Now, I will not show the picture here but I will show the picture of where I am so far at the end of the video. So that way I won't ruin um, the surprises of the mystery for anyone else who might be doing the, the knit along. And I really do hope that some people will join in. And um, it's been a lot of fun. I hope that um, by showing the picture at the end of the video for anyone who's interested to see how far along I am. It won't be a spoiler. So the links to the pattern and the Rami Hill YouTube channel are in the description. So that has been exciting. And although it still didn't spark my creativity yet, it got me back to using my needles and doing some of what I love, which is knitting and crochet. Now, the next thing, which was quite a happy thing and happened late on Wednesday, was that I enjoyed a return to creativity. <sighs> Finally, because it, it felt like a long week without doing something fresh and new. And uh, what I did was I was looking at the picture. I will put the picture up here, I think. It's the picture from Judy's Creations in Crochet, the tropical bird of the month. And it sparked my creativity. And what I did was I went to my stash and I found some beautiful colors of yarn that matched the picture of the bird. I actually had found red as well, which was in the bird. And I thought, well, that looks like it would look so pretty if I were to donate something for a young girl. Now, what could I make with that? And Voila, I found Ophelia Talks had a pattern for a poncho. This is a video, a YouTube video tutorial on her channel, and I will link it below. It's Ophelia Talks about crocheting a poncho in a weekend. I used a five millimeter hook and Brava Sport in the colors Custard cornflower and I've just started using the seashell and of course black in between. So I'm almost finished this and she's right about it being a quick thing to make which I think was another way that it sparked my creativity was by not 
taking on a new project that was going to take a really long time, it helped me to jump back in. So this is the video for this week. Um, I hope everyone enjoys your week. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And I hope to see you next Friday.